Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another stream of Trails to Zero. I'm your host, Logic Blade, and it's nice to see you all again. Uh, even though I've been uh, doing a collab stream with February Night 4 recently, and uh, my voice is a little off, I'm still feeling the mood to stream for a few hours, so for any of you Night Owls who are here to join me, or perhaps you're in a more reasonable time zone for this video, I thank you for dropping and saying hi and checking me out. Last time around, we finished Chapter 4. We investigated the missing people. Oh, hold on, I gotta adjust my sound just a bit here. That should be a bit better. Yeah, so last time around, we investigated the various missing people related to this Gnosis drug case. And they've all gone missing. Uh, the Securities Trader Bond. The Saber Vipers Toady Dino. Uh, pretty much every member of the Mafia. They've just disappeared off the face of the earth. And we have no idea where they went to. Um, so we investigated Ravach's uh, headquarters with nobody around. Uh, discovered that they were smuggling in monsters. And found out a whole bunch of people were taking bribes on the, from them on the take. And perhaps the most shocking thing of all, we found the police badge of one guy Bannings locked inside a treasure chest in the president's room. What does that mean exactly? Well, we got a lot to find out as we start up the final chapter of Trails to Zero. So, I hope you're all strapped in and ready. It's gonna be a fun one. The next day, 2.40 p.m. Oh, I see. It seems they've finally gotten that far. No, sorry, it's Ren's voice. <laughs> Those present all received an invitation. With this, I wonder if everything for the party is in order. Who will find out the ogre first? Is it Estelle and Joshua? Or Lloyd and the others? Or possibly... As always, it seems you see everything. <laughs> oh, I'm not that overconfident. What Ren sees is only the system of cause and effect she's entangled with. Our systems operate separately. I wonder what kind of fabric they can weave in this place called Crossbell. That is all I see. Oh, thank you for the host, Feb. I really appreciate it. Come on, come on, come all, come see Trails to Zero in its conclusion. I doubt I'll finish the chapter today. It's a long one. Hmm, I see then. Uh, though I don't know what the Mafia and that cult are planning, it seems things will be a bit noisy. Well, we reap what we sow. Maybe it's karmic justice. Yes, it could be said it's the karma we've piled up for that ashen city. I thought the society was involved in that too, for sure. This land is a buffer zone between Ouroboros and the church. The Pope prohibits the Knights' actions, and their leader doesn't dispatch enforcers. Well, that's the official stance, anyway. <laughs> oh, I thought your studio was suspicious, but... I didn't think you'd go so far as to prepare a system that can remotely interfere with Crossbell's orbital network. Thanks to that, my boredom's at an end as well. If it was useful to you, then it was something worth preparing. When that guy came to push me, I was thinking of destroying it. As always, you have a poor relationship with the professor. The head of the 13th workshops, the 6th apostle, Dr. Novartis. Even though he has the STARS network, I wonder what interest he has in the Epstein test program now of all times. <laughs> well, it's him you're talking about. I think he'll probably try to use it for some worthless idea of his anyway. Honestly, they wrecked my work which was still in development. 
Oh, you're talking about that Crimson Warrior Lloyd and the others fought, huh? Just looking at it from the monitor, it seemed like an excellent child, no? As I thought, it has difficulty in autonomous situational awareness and flexible decision-making. I don't think it'd be a very good partner for you. <laughs> but the professors also realize that I'm here, right? Ren aside, won't he have anything to say about him? He's been silent for now. Seems he's focused in a new frame's development, but... Well, I've completed the attitude control that was problematic, and reinforced the structure of the joint's components as well. I won't give him a chance to complain. Thank you. So finally, the last gamble can begin. Hmm. <laughs> oh, don't make that face! You taught me doll winding, made fake dolls for me, and even sheltered me here like this. I'm really thankful, Gramps. <laughs> that was no big deal. More importantly, you're going to be busy today, right? Though it's a little early, let's have some afternoon tea. <laughs> let's do that. They're obviously talking about our good friend Pottermodder here. Pottermodder, let's have tea together. Today is going to be a long day. Most likely, it'll be this state's longest day in history. Oh man, it's beeping and booping. It's alive. <coughs> Final chapter. The longest day in Crossbell. The next day, 3 p.m. I see. To think it's become like that. Regarding the missing persons rumors, we got a hold of them too, but... We got a completely late start on them this time. Of all things, that cult coming out? Hmm. So Mr. Arios was involved in the cult incident six years ago as well? Do you know if there were any other survivors? Let me see... We suppressed all the lodges, but it's possible that some rem remnants were refugees underground. If criminal organization helped them, they could have hidden very easily. It's possible Ravach covered them. But why would they do something so risky? That calculating President Marconi must have felt uneasy. Certainly knowing the remnants of the cult are being sheltered. There's many places that wouldn't overlook this. Oh, we, of course. But the church, and that society as well. And that means... You're saying there's still something we don't understand yet? Yes. However, it doesn't look like we have time to check that now. Right now, we have to chase after the Mafia and the location of the missing people. Most likely, these incidents are connected to the true identity of the cult remains. Um... About that. Are you okay with cooperating with us? Yes, we have no objections. At a time like this with citizens disappearing, we can't afford to do it as it doesn't concern us either. Sorry, what? We can't afford not to help, as this concerns us as well. Then there's those incidents with those drugs. Thank you for helping us. We're looking forward to working with you. Yes, likewise. Being this the case, we need to decide how to divvy up our work, but... Aside from Estelle and Joshua, what are the other members doing? Thankfully, nothing urgent's come in for Scott and Rin. Including Estelle and Joshua, that makes seven of us. Alright, please call everyone together. Let's cover all of the important places before the day is out. Okay, then I'll contact them. Wow, you guys are on the ball as always. That could be the biggest asset we bracers have. Come to think of it, is Mr. Sergei aware of all this? 
Yes, we've already obtained permission to work with you. He said that he thanks you, Mr. Arios. Is that so? Um, Mr. Arios? When you were in the police, you worked under the chief, didn't you? With my brother. Yes. Mr. Sergei, myself, and Guy. Just the three of us made a team regarded to be the best in police history. In terms of crowning achievements, even above those of the first crime division. But five years ago, I quit the police for personal reasons, and our team was broken up. Sergei went to the police school, and Guy transferred to the first crimes division. And two years ago... Sorry, that should be three years ago, Guy was killed in the line of duty. If I hadn't quit the police... Of course, I don't intend to say such a thing. Due to my circumstances, I parted with the police with determination. But, even so... I still remember them. Those glorious days. Those years spent with a quirky boss and an amazing partner. <laughs> I'm a little envious of you guys. Really? <laughs> Never thought I'd hear something like that from the renowned Divine Blade of Wind. <laughs> if pushed, I'd say I'm jealous of your good ventilation here at the guild. Uh, ventilation? Um. Good. I don't know what they were going for here. <coughs> I suppose mobility, maybe? I'd have to actually see the kanji to figure out what they actually meant. Or just wait for the Geofront translation, which is coming out this weekend. Yeah, <laughs> way to steal my thunder, huh? <laughs> Whatever. Uh... The police will take their share, and the guild will take theirs. If the guild pursues justice as a universal ideal, without bending to any kind of political powers, then the police's duty is to pursue justice, even while taking into consideration the contradictions of those political powers. You should probably be feeling the presence of many contradictions and unreasonable circumstances. There's something I felt too back then, and now, I think it might have been a valuable experience. Justice pursued while even taking in political powers into consideration. So you're saying my brother was talking, uh, was chasing after that too? <laughs> just, just a little bit, Fen. <laughs> yes, and that is what I believe. That is exactly why Mr. Sergey worked so hard to establish the support section. <laughs> Seems I've talked long enough. You all should find your own answers. That is probably what he would have wanted. Yes. <laughs> That's pretty tough homework. Ta I'm back! Estelle, Joshua, and Shizuku too. <laughs> oh, your clothes are super cute today. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. Hello. Oh, oh, looks like you've been enjoying your day off, huh? Since some urgent work came in, they were her company for me. Estelle, Joshua, sorry for having troubled you. Uh, don't worry about it. I was super lucky to have hung out with Shizuku. She let me fully appreciate how squishy her cheeks are. Uh, Estelle? My goodness, you're not an old man. By the way, I heard this from Estelle, but... I'm told that we're cooperating informally with the police? Yes. Once the other members are assembled, I'll explain further. <laughs> hey man, we all want to see that glorious 3D Estelle booty. Mm. Lloyd, if possible, I'd like the support section to participate. Yes. After that... The assembled bracers had reviewed the current situation. On top of deciding how to share responsibilities with the bracers, Lloyd and the others decided to return to the special support section. 
and we'll take responsibility for Shizuku and take her in our care. We have the chief and a reliable police dog, so please don't worry about her. Yes, thanks. Shizuku, be a good girl and wait for me. Okay, father. Um, father, and all your friends, too. Please be careful. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> it would be better if we had a little more help, though. After all, when everyone's out investigating, this place becomes insecure. But is this really okay? If we were to lend a hand in your investigation... <laughs> Don't worry about it. You guys are going to receive a call from that hospital doctor for your drug composition investigation, right? Leave the search for the missing persons to us, and prepare for what comes next. Huh. So we're working with the police now, huh? <laughs> it's not particularly unusual in Remiferia, but... It's good to be working with you, everyone. No, same here. A pleasure. If something happens, please don't hesitate to contact the guild. If we learn something, we'll contact the support section. Alright then, let's do our best. Yeah. <sighs> How do I put this? That was overwhelming. It was expected from Arios, but from Estelle and Joshua too. And all of the other members, they seem quite capable. Uh, somehow everyone seems like they're B rank or higher, but... Isn't it also rare for a branch to gather this many young and capable members? Even the guild thinks that the place called Crossbell is important, you know? On the other hand, they're able to see through a situation in which the police can't act, but... Yeah, we've got to do our best, too. <laughs> I'm sorry. I said something strange all of a sudden. Oh, please don't worry about it. Even I heard that my father was in the police a long time ago. There's many complicated and difficult problems, but... This time, we'll be working together, right? Yeah, if I had to say, though, it's us who's being helped by them. Come to think of it, that handmade pendant from the other day? Did you give it to your father? Uh, yeah. <laughs> the truth is, last night, father came to visit. I gave it to him safely, but... I wonder what kind of face my father made. He was quiet for a while. After that, he said his thanks rather bluntly. Did he say something like, I'll keep it with me? Yes, that was the gist of it. I can easily imagine it. <laughs> Even in front of Shizuku, Arios gets a little embarrassed. That alone means you're precious to him. Now then, let's show you the support section. Can I lead you by the hand? Uh, thank you very much. Come to think of it, Kia's there, isn't she? Yeah, I think she'll be there with Zait. If you come to play with her, she'll be so happy for you. <laughs> I'm glad. Alright, let's escort the princess and return to the sports section. Aww. Arios, we're taking your daughter. The special support section is where we raise daughters. <laughs> We've got one, but one's not enough. Same day, 5 p.m. <laughs> Aww. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Uh. Ah. He's so late! Weren't we supposed to be contacted by that doctor at noon? I contacted the hospital, and it seems that he's locked himself in the lab, enthusiastically conducting experiments, but... He may be having trouble analyzing the composition. What if he decided to go fishing instead? Uh, I don't think that's the case. Wait, we still haven't been contacted by the doctor? 
Yes, it seems like he's locked up in his lab. If things are like this, it might be better to go to him directly. Hmm, that may be true. Before any more go disappearing or get hurt, I want to confirm the drug's composition. I'll take care of contacting the guild. You should hurry and get going. Thank you. We'll take care of it. And we should take the bus to the, uh, the hospital at once, huh? Alright, so we are in control. And likewise, we've got a couple of quests to report in. <laughs> and Sergei's saying, hey, don't worry about stuff here. We'll take care of it. There's no new side quests, just the couple that we need to hand in. So we're going to be making a few rounds around Crossbell real quick here. I'll probably be abusing save states for uh, cooking purposes, so we're going to enjoy that for the next little while. Anyway, let's go to Kia's room, room number 304. Grrr. Ah, everyone! <laughs> they seem to be playing along already. <laughs> Lloyd, are you going to work? Ooh. Yes, but we'll be back soon. Let's have a lively dinner with Shizuku. Yeah! <laughs> Aww. I hope they have fun. Alrighty then. So as of right now, you have free reign of the city. But you can't go onto the east or west highways. So, if you need to do some fishing on those highways, too freaking bad. You're donezo. That's it. I hate fishing in this game, so I didn't even bother. Anyway, it's uh, about time to kiss our books goodbye. So, let's go ahead and uh, make a fresh save. So, we can hold on to those books in our memory forever. And also so I can do a dramatic reading of them at some point. Oh, you have all the volumes of Dr. Dark Dr. Glenn, eh? Hmm, I was thinking about collecting them too. But in the end, there were some volumes I failed to buy. Say, here's some advice. Why don't you exchange your whole set of Dark Glen with one of my treasures? <laughs> Thank you kindly! So now it's my turn. Here, I'll give you this one. Zamurian ore received. Thank you very much. But what is this? <laughs> a treasure I got through certain means. It looks like a relic of the ancient Zemurian times. It's so hard, and it can't be manufactured with any of the current methods. <laughs> but taking it with you, maybe it'll be of some use. Maybe. Who knows? So... New save. Make sure I have new save there. So I don't accidentally overwrite it. <laughs> uh, that girl's still trying to lose her weight. Let's see if I can unlock all my slots. Hopefully I can. Some of them are prohibitively expensive. I think I'm just waiting for one then. I need a bit more uh, fire and water set to make this one a reality. Tio's uh, EP shot up from 664 to 886, so 
yeah, that last lot was worth a lot. Uh, man. Uh, I believe the, uh, armor shop also has new weapons and stuff for us, so... We're gonna pick up a few. Sell some of the stuff I'm not gonna need anymore. Ooh, uh, where did I get that power suit? Oh, right, duh. That was a, uh... That was a quest reward. Sell the iron shoes, I'm not gonna use them. the black suit, I guess. Makes sense. And let's see what we can buy. The Bloody Messiah. That's uh, one hell of a name. Yeah, let's uh, put those on everybody. Okay, equipment ghetto. Gonna go traipse around East Street next. Bug our friends at the Bracer Guild again. <laughs> so, Arios is in Mains. Scott and Wenzel are in the Belgard area, Ren and Aeolia are in the Tangram area, and Estelle and Joshua are all the way in Armorica. We can go visit Arios, but we can't actually visit any of the other ones there. And I don't know why we can visit Arios. It's a bit strange, but hey, that's, uh, that's how these things go sometimes, you know? Anyway, our next destination is actually going to see our... Good buddy, Guillaume. Oh, looks like you managed to get your hands on some tea material. If you want to update the Orbal staff, just say so. I'm pretty much ready anytime, you see. Yeah, let's upgrade the Orbal Staff while we can. Roberts, are you ready on your end? Yeah, I've got the materials. I'm coming over there. I've confirmed the materials. No problems here. Alright, we're ready. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. I can just picture Tio gallantly brandishing her new Orbal Staff. Chief. If the Orbal Staff becomes useless due to a bug, I'll never forgive you, you hear? No way. I'll be hated by Tio my whole life! What have I... What have I done to deserve this? Chief, nothing's happened yet. Roberts, come back to us. Huh? S sorry Let's begin immediately. Could you SSS folks wait a little while? Yes, then allow us to observe you. Just like that, Lloyd and the others spent the next 30 minutes waiting. Though they didn't understand the details, the Orbal staff remodeling seemed to proceed smoothly. And then... Soshte. How does it feel? I think the adjustments should be more or less correct. Let's see. 
There's an uncomfortable feeling because the basic program was overwritten, but it's not bad. I'm sure it's the balance control. If it's you, Tio, I'm sure you'll get used to it immediately. When you change to other orbital staffs, please copy the programs used by the Ion system. Also, please don't forget to install the attachment parts. Understood. Sorry, that's the Eon system. Hey, Lloyd. Seems like it went well. Huh. I wasn't expecting the staff to split open like that. Despite how it looks, it seems it has many different functions. That's right. Tio, how does it feel? Do you think you can perform the new craft? Yes, the remodeling is complete. It seems it will demonstrate its ability as expected. Absolute zero. Anti-energy bullets at absolute zero temperature. Though I can't fire them excessively, it could be useful in important fights. If that's so, that's reassuring. <laughs> Sounds amazing just hearing about it. I'm looking forward to live combat. That's right, you'll be supporting us next time. Right. Chief, Master, thank you very much. Thank you for your help. Eh, that was no big deal. Please, don't worry about it. Yeah, no need for thanks. We were the ones who proposed this. And thank goodness the modifications were completed successfully. I was prepared for your rejection from the start, but... Yes, yes, as expected, putting Guillaume's, request on the, putting Guillaume's name on the request was a better idea. Gee... No, it's... it's nothing. Nothing. Oh, it's already so late. I'll excuse myself here. Tio, use the orbital staff in combat, okay? Uh, see you. Hmm. Though he isn't a bad person. Well, I understand that he's worried about you, Tio. He still hasn't gotten rid of his overprotective habits. Well, whatever. Now things will be less busy for a while. It's about time I got back to work. Put that horrible staff to good use, kids. Yes, of course. If you need anything again, you can count on us. And, uh, talk to him again. Because, uh... You can get ultimate armors here. If you have divine cloths and enough U materials. Oh, I can't upgrade my stuff just yet. Never mind. So if I have dual garters, I can make ultimate shoes. And if I have divine cloths and new materials, I can make hot couture. Mm -hmm. That's gonna go to Ellie. Say, hey, buffing Ellie's art seems like a pretty good idea, right? bit of business is uh, going around getting some recipes. Like the medicinal mapo tofu. And our next destination is the back streets. <laughs> 
Alright, if I did this correctly, I should have all but one recipe in my uh, collection here. Booyah. Here we go. Alright. I haven't been eating food all game. I should have all of these in my possession. Okay, I only have three clear gelatins, so I get three shots of this. Might as well just use them all at once here. Come on, Ellie. You got this, girl. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Oh, and that's twenty-three. Alright, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twenty-three is the amount I should have. So, provided I didn't screw this up, which is entirely possible, because I'm really good at screwing things up. Well, that's what saving's for, right? So, I believe I need to get six bonus DP for this. I'm just going to double check my numbers here. Because it's like literally the first quest of chapter 4 you get. Yeah, you need 23 and it should give you plus 6 DP. Alright, here we go. Oh, that's the wrong spot. That's the wrong building. Whatever, I have some business here. The, uh... Last copy of the, uh, Crossbell Times is here. Whew. I got a tickle in my throat. Sorry about that. But yeah, the last uh, copy of the Crossbell Times is here, so we can pick that up. <laughs> and before we read that, let's uh, turn in these last couple of quests. <laughs> Alright, Sertio. We got you 23 unexpected dishes. You better be singing our praises, boy. 23. Yep. Alright then, allow me to take them immediately. However, who are you guys? This full set includes every dish. It appears you're familiar with Crossbell Cuisine, huh? <laughs> it's no big deal. And we cook for ourselves every day. And before we notice, we borrow each other special dishes. My specialties, Mabo Tofu and the like. I see. It seems that you too possess the heart of a chef. Well, anyway, you saved me. What would have happened if I hadn't concluded a new recipe? If I hadn't made a new recipe? What would have. Uh, no, it's nothing. It's nothing important. That's right. I must thank you properly. Would you like to try the trial product? Truffle and fish eyeball soup. Its taste isn't quite there yet, but. Before the taste, the appearance is disgusting. It's the strangest combination I've ever seen. I appreciate your feelings, but... I see. Well, that's a pity. I wanted to hear your impressions. Oh well, I'll give you this in exchange. Alright, Blazing Chef Achievement. We got all the recipes. Ripe Onion Soup. There was a creamy soup in the dishes you gave me before, right? Looking at that, I was struck with an idea. However, being too ordinary, it might not be popular among the customers. If you want, give it a try. Thank you very much. By the way, isn't such an ordinary thing good for creative cuisine? Hmm? Did you say something? No, nothing. It seems the senses are a bit off. Good, then should I begin sampling the food? Thank you for all the trouble. If 
if I need something again, I'll count on you. Yes, anytime. Okay, we did it. And, uh, just for the hell of it. Let's make some onion soup. Boom. Soup. Made the soup. Alright. Let's go report the good news to Fran. Yep, six bonus DP means we did it right. 347. Plus four for the Orbital Staff thing. 351. And at 351 DP, I get the trophy Hero of the Citizens. If we check that out in our record here. Completed all the quests. 100 points. Hell yeah. Uh, if you're wondering what these point values are, uh, they're actually relevant for New Game Plus. See, you get uh, points for uh, doing certain things. Dang Black Auction, blah blah blah, completing chapters, defeating one monsters. In any case, they add up. They let you get really cool stuff. So yeah, just... Uh, you know, live that dream. Did I not collect all the issues of crossbow times? No, I have them. Maybe I was supposed to open them up and read them. Whatever, it's fine. Hayway Trade Company raided. Late last night, the Hayway Trade Company, a trading company with its office in the waterfront area, was suddenly raided. Because of the sudden incident, anxiety is spreading among neighborhood residents. Based on damages to the building, it can be inferred that heavy weapons were used in the attack. At present, a crossbow police investigation into the incident is underway. What was the reason for a raid? Why was such a company attacked? And with heavy weapons even? According to Mr. Zhao, the branch manager, I don't have the slightest idea about the reason of the raid. However, because I manage a trading company, my rivals are many, and there could be the possibility that, among them, Someone waged it due to some kind of unjustified resentment, he said. Then he said, I am terribly sorry to have caused the people in the neighborhood great concern and trouble, bowing his head deeply. Tensions remain. Even a full day after the incident, a sense of tension hangs in the area around the building. The incident should be quickly investigated by the police. Newsflash, budget meeting finally ends. The prolonged budget meeting finally concluded this afternoon. Mayor McDowell and Chairman Hartman had a heated discussion regarding the ideal municipal budget, but with a compromised plan the mayor proposed, the settlement was reached narrowly. The finalized budget will be released at a later date. Society News Airport Mysteriously Sealed Since early this morning, it appears that Crossbell Airport has been completely sealed off. Crossbell Police sealed up the airport, explaining their actions as an extraordinary inspection. With regular airport operations stopped, confused citizens could be seen. A string of missing persons incidents. We've received multiple reports of missing people in Crossbell City. Since the facts are not clear, this magazine is conducting its own investigation. We will keep you apprised of anything we manage to learn. <laughs> uh, yep. Alright. Let's make a save toasting our great success. And, uh, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of grinding. Not for, uh... Not for, uh, frickin', uh, experience, though. I need, uh, just a bit more Sepeth. Uh, namely Fire and Water. I want to get Ellie's last slot unlocked before I go into the next area here, so... I'm going to the only place we can actually, uh, grind in this game at, at the moment. Which is, uh... Oops, it's actually go to the right place. It's, uh, it's Revatch. We can just go in here at any time. 
Uh, and they're putting fronds on guards duty. How adorable. <sighs> Whoops. The actual dungeon stuff is uh, on the left and right sides. In addition, this can also get me some recipes, so... Well, that wasn't a lot of water stuff. This one didn't even drop fire and water sabbath. Come on. You gotta stop doing me like this game. I need... I need that sabbath. Don't play me like this. That looks promising. Yeah, let me fight more of those. I'll get to six hundred way faster that way. Seriously. Come on. Grinding, 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 grinding. Everybody loves grinding. Get there. Okay, I'm getting there with the water sabbath at least. The fire sabbath is still a ways away. You kind of enjoy this theme, though. Not the battle theme, the, uh, well, I mean, I enjoy the revanche theme. The battle theme's also really good, but the revanche theme in particular here. It's very nice, uh, climactic dungeon. Theme, I think. Couple more fights should hopefully uh, be the ticket. Not against this thing, though. <laughs> Nope. They didn't drop any fires of it. Fire's what I'm looking for, guys. Come on. Don't 
play me like that. Hopefully that uh, one trip around should be more than enough to get me through. Uh, still need some fire. this place and continue on with the main plot. Normally I have enough Sabbat to actually just get through without needing to upgrade all my slots, but today is a bit different. Yeah, 611, that's uh, that's the ticket. drop it so I can move to the next area. Doing fine, feeling fine, looking fine, feeling fine. Mm, Alrighty then. So we're all healed up. We got our we got our slots sorted out. We got our equipment and stuff set up as best as possible. Well, close enough to best as possible. I'm, uh, being a bit stingy. And you know what? That's fine. Boom. That's everyone's slots ready to go here. Which means all of this Sepith is now useless to me. So I can go to the IBC and trade it for cash money, Holmes. Uh, yeah. You see, Ellie's got more EP than most of the cast, but... Not nearly as much as Tio does. That's the strength of having a single line. <coughs> okay, and we can't deposit our mirror at the IBC, so no double mirror for you. You're gonna have to deal with things the hard way. So, Grace is uh, stumbling onto the truth here, as an ace reporter does. <laughs> it's fine, she's trustworthy. For, I mean, for a reporter. <laughs> you can trust that you can't trust her, is basically what I want to go at. Let's go buy this noodle guy out of all his mirror, shall we? Because 
because I can't get better rates, so I might as well just do it here. And, uh, Boomba, we've got 84,000 Seba, or 84,000 Euro, rather. <laughs> okay. So, that should take care of all of the bonus stuff I need to do. I got the crossbow times, no new fishing spots, got all the recipes, got the Zamurian ore. Yep, we can uh, proceed with the main game now. I lied. I'm gonna go see Arios first. Uh, never mind, I'm gonna walk all the way to see Arios, huh? Never mind. I can just go to the cathedral. That's, uh, that's why they let you onto the Mains Mountain Road. Cool. There's nobody I want to talk to in the cathedral. But what about the Haywards? We want to talk to the Haywards. Are they home? Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Colin's such a cutie. I sure hope he doesn't get lost again. That would suck. <laughs> oh, Bennett. <laughs> uh, well, how does the saying go? If you're making food for the man you love, it's, uh... I don't know. I don't know how that saying goes, but... Basically, Oscar and Bennett are cute together. Cute. C-U-T-E cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Isn't it your fault, Oscar? <laughs> Seems like there's nothing odd happening in West Street. That's enough. That's enough talking about. Seems like the bus is gonna be a long lineup. Huh. Isn't this lineup really long? That's unusual for this time of day. It's strange, isn't it? The last trip should have only left five minutes ago, but... Uh, is that right? Huh. Hey, you there. Is the bus running late? Yeah, seems that way. I've been waiting for 20 minutes. There hasn't been any buses in a while. I'm in trouble. I'm gonna miss my interview. So that's how it is. Well, it seems it's running late. Is it engine trouble again? That seems likely. Yes, this is Lloyd Banning's of the Special Support Section. Studley, how's the situation there? Oh, thank you for your hard work. We've secured assistance from the Bracer Guild, and we were able to get their agreement. Hm. So you've picked up a debt with McLean. Well, fine. If it's them, they should be able to produce some results. <coughs> As for me... The truth regarding the disappearance of the Mafia has begun to put the top brass in an uproar. It might take a little time before I'm able to act. Understood. Now that you mention it, you were at the airport just now. What happened with the bomb warning? <laughs> it's a complete dud, probably. Recently, we checked all over the air airport with normal detector and nothing turned up. Does this have something to do with the Mafia's movements? We're looking into that now. Wait a moment. It seems you're near the airport, but... Could it be that you're planning to poke your noses in that case as well? No, we're heading for the hospital right now. Since contact about the drug composition is late, we're gonna go try paying the doctor a direct visit. You 
You haven't heard from him yet? Good grief, this is why you're newbies. You have to decide on a punctual time to receive those kind of communications. Yeah, we're right. We're, we're, we're sorry. He's right, maybe we're being too sloppy. Once it's clear what that pill is, it'll become easier to move the top brass. I want to put my hopes in that doctor of yours, or whatever, but... That reminds me. What is the name of this doctor? We never told you? His name's Joachim Gunter, and he's an associate professor of neurology and pharmacology. He's in his mid-thirties, he's famous for his considerable skill. Hmm, if that's possible, we might be able to expect something from him, but... Huh? What's wrong? Wait a moment. Joachim Gunter, you said. He's a man that wears glasses and has a rather aloof air about him, is that correct? Yes, that's right, but have you met him before? Um, Mr. Dudley? I met him two months ago. At the Arkansas preview performance, it was when I was in the middle of investigating the criminal, Secretary Ernest, who plotted the mayor's assassination. Oh? You might have heard of it from Mr. Sergei, but Ernest was completely deranged. So as a last resort, he called a counselor from St. Ursula's Hospital, who had been counseling Ernest since before. And finally, I was able to do a flat-out questioning. Uh, please wait a moment. Could it be Dr. Joachim was Ernest's counselor? Yes, he was the attending physician. At that time, as you would expect, he gained my admiration for the St. Ursula's doctors, but... Understood. We'll try to bring it up indirectly. Yeah, give it a go. Anyway, make effective use of your time. I'll contact you again. Hmm. What's wrong? It seems like you had a strange conversation, but... Does that secretary and Dr. Joachim have some kind of connection? Yeah. Th that's... Wait just a second here. Thinking about back then. No matter how we look about it. That secretary guy's attitude and his physical strength. It's similar to the case of Gantz, isn't it? And what's more, his attending physician was Dr. Joachim. I'll try confirming that information at the hospital reception desk. Whether Dr. Joachim has gone anywhere since then. Yeah, please do. <coughs> it's no good. It won't connect. But it doesn't seem like they're on another call. A late bus. A hospital we can't contact and a newly proven, unexpected relationship. Really, don't you think that a little too many things are lining up one after the other? Yeah. The day will end soon. Let's hurry and head for St. Ursula Hospital. If the bus passes us, we'll flag it down and board it. Yes! <laughs> Alright, guys. The rails are gone now. What is Dr. Joachim's relation to these cases? <laughs> and why is uh, Secretary Ernest's case so familiar? <laughs> oh. Oh, you poor sweet summer children. Did you really think we could trust people in glasses in a trails game? <laughs> Okay, well, fine. Some of them are reasonable. Yoshimasa. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm fighting things. I'm not getting experience from them. Well, not enough to be relevant. Oh, 
Oh. Well, the bus broke down again, and it's open. Why is it stopped in a place like this? And there's no one inside. Looks that way. Teotot, any reactions nearby? Let's see. Access. It's no good. No human reaction within 10 Selge. <laughs> Thought that might be the case. Somehow, this isn't a monster attack, right? Yeah, it stopped properly on the shoulder. It's likely that the driver stopped it here of his own volition. Or possibly, he was forced to stop because of the outbreak of some kind of situation. Let's investigate inside. Yes. What the hell is going on here, guys? They all left their stuff here. That doesn't make any sense. They even left a Miji all behind. Flowers and gifts for sick people were left on the seats. They were going to visit someone sick at the hospital. Yes. A stuffed toy. Could it be a get well gift for a sick child? Yeah, that seems likely. Yes. Yes. Understood. Please, handle the comms. We'll proceed like this to St. Ursula's Hospital. Alright. Be careful. Was that the chief? Seems for now he's contacted Tangram Gate. He's trying to request assistance from Vice Commander Sonia. Oh, that would be a great help. Yeah, if it's the Vice Commander, I'm sure she'd be able to help us. For now, though, we need to head to the hospital. Yeah, it's not far from here. It's possible the passengers head for the hospital on foot. Well, if they left Get Well gifts behind, the situation isn't normal. Anyway, let's hurry. The day will end soon. Yeah. They keep saying the day will end soon. Like we don't already know the title of this chapter. Come on, guys. Have some self-awareness. Yes. All right, and we've made it to the hospital. Same day. 650. And this is pretty dark for 650. Considering it's, uh... I think it's... May in-game. So... Yeah. The sun is set. However... Outdoor lighting aside, the building isn't lit up. That's strange no matter how you think about it. It's a little early for the gate to be closed. And where are the guards? Anyway, we've got to check. Uh, these guys? The Mafia's war dogs? We didn't sense their presence? From behind us, too. What? You're... I didn't see them around. They were already here? You... What the hell are you doing? <sighs> huh. Seems it's no use. Please be careful. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Here they come. Alright. Yes? Let's 
Anyway, let's show off Absolute Zero. Why not? Basically for doing a whole schwack ton of damage, all in one go. God, I love Death Storm. This is how Randy solves problems. <laughs> <laughs> what strength? Seems they strengthen their physical abilities with that drug. The war dogs too, most likely. But just what were they doing? They attacked us without even saying anything. I didn't sense any feelings from them. This is just like... <sighs> <sighs> These guys. We should have neutralized them. This is the power of Gnosis. What should we do? <laughs> Good grief. How troublesome. Gah! Ugh. That needle was... Yin, you killed them! I simply used acupuncture to cut off their key flow. No matter how strong they are, they should sleep for a while. I is that so? Still, your appearance is as timely as ever. You come here to investigate Ravach's movements? It's a request from Zhao, but it seems this request is more troublesome than I thought. Gnosis, I thought it was fake. Why do you know that name? You guys, just how much do you know? <laughs> About as much as you. The disappearance of Ravach, and the DG cult remnants. Neither I nor Zhao know any more than this. Is that so? Regardless of your goal, the current situation is a state of emergency. It's extremely likely that the Mafia has occupied the hospital interior. We need to confirm the safety of those in the hospital as soon as possible. Because of that, Yin, will you cooperate with us? What? Whoa, that guy is... And what exactly do you think you're saying? Do you really think you should be relying on someone, on the strength of someone you pursued as a criminal? That doesn't matter. This is a state of emergency. And... It seems you plan to learn the truth of the situation in your own way. If that's the case, don't you think that there's merit in saving the people in the hospital and asking them directly? <laughs> so you want to cooperate as equals until the bitter end, is it? Very well. I shall assist you in this case. However, if you become a burden to me, I'll act of my own accord. Is that understood? Yeah, I don't mind. Honestly... Should I say you're quick to make decisions, or... In times like these, Lloyd is too bold, isn't he? Hey now, this is no time to be long-winded. It's about time we began investigating the hospital. Yeah, we need to confirm the safety of everyone inside the hospital. While we're at it, we'll talk to them, and we should gain an understanding of the situation. Right. Roger that. <laughs> Shall we go, then? Cecile. Please be safe. I'll definitely save everyone. Yin has joined your party. You can change attack members under tactics in the camp menu. Yin hits things hard. 
What else does she do? <laughs> Why don't you find out? I don't know if I need to knock everyone out in here or not. <laughs> Yin's also hella fast. Her crafts are incredible. And, you know, she's also cute as a button. These guys don't give me much experience. And they don't give me much sympathy either. It's not really worth it to fight them. Fast. <sighs> no use complaining. Here they come. She still has the same speed buff that she had in her boss fight. Yeah, these jerks get free healing, and that's a pain in the neck. They give me more Sepith, but still not really worth fighting them. <laughs> Those guys were tough. As expected, I sensed hardly any change in their emotions. It's possible they're not moving according to their own will. Uh, not moving according to their own will? Then they're being controlled? Yeah, though I can't confirm it. In the East, there exist puppet techniques using drugs and hypnosis. That possibility exists as well. I, I don't believe this. That'd be a giant pain in the ass. Something like this. No matter how I think about it, this isn't Garcia's style, right? Yeah, I know. Anyway, right now confirming the safety of the people in the hospital takes priority. First, let's try searching the interior of the dormitory. Right. So, just be very diligent when you're searching around here. If you miss anybody, yeah, miss out on DP, so... Keep that in mind as you're going through. Why the hell are the Mafia raiding the hospital? Ah! Who are you guys? You're... You guys are... You're the police? Indeed, we're Crossbell Police. We realized something strange is happening and came to check on everyone's safety. We're saved! When we were dragged out here from the bus, I wondered what was going to happen to us. You guys were on the bus that was stopped on the way here? Yeah. On the way here, those Mafia stood in our way. They held us at gunpoint and made us walk all the way here. Our driver who resisted was shot. So that's what happened. Please, wait here for a little while. We'll be sure to secure everyone's safety. Uh, understood. 
Thank you very much. Talk to everyone. Seems the bus driver's being treated in the next room. Looks like I only have to talk to everyone once. guys. You're those police. Head nurse, you're safe. Thank goodness. Why are you here? Could it be that you've already secured the place? No, we've only just arrived. We're confirming everyone's safety at present. Is that so? Somehow, it seems that there's injured people. Yes, our guard and the bus driver. They were attacked by those mafia. I just finished administering first aid. Is that so? Is the SEAL taking care of the others in the hospital ward? Yes, yeah, she should be working now because of the people there. I was taking a break when I came here, but... To be away from the ward at a time like this? Head nurse. Don't worry. We'll save Cecile and all the patients. Please, head nurse, examine any injured people. Understood. Thank you. Those damn black suits. They used violence against the staff and the patients. I resisted too, but I was knocked down easily. I leave the hospital ward to you. Go save Cecile and the patients. Creepy ass music you gotta deal with. Oh, thanks for the comment, Fenrold. I can't actually see your comment yet, but I'll be sure to check that out in, uh, in a brief while here. No, oh, I brief while, I mean after I'm done streaming. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> They're here too? Let's mop them up. I do still. You're gonna see. Smash both of you, damn it. That's right, it's Risha time. <laughs> I don't know if I have to check all the dead bodies, but... Something small rolled around near the collapsed Mafia men. Hospital key obtained. This is... <laughs> Maybe it was stolen from the hospital staff. Maybe we can use it somewhere. Yeah, let's test it out. Okay, so I do need to check their bodies. Damn it. Alright. I'm pretty sure I checked all the rooms, but... Double, double and triple checking, because... This is a very easy place to lose your DP on. Alright, 
Anyway, let's uh, go up to the third floor of the dormitory here. Might as well clear the building out, if possible. <laughs> ah, seems like they resist that. Good to know. Yes. Let's show this off. Why not? Yin's great. I really love her. <laughs> yep, they're both out cold. Nobody's hiding in the room here. These two nurses are, though. Ah! No! Please, relax. We're police. A woman? Police, are you here to save us? Yes, right now we're confirming everyone's safety while incapacitating the intruders. For a little while, please wait here. We understand. Please do your best. Alright, so these nurses didn't have the night shift. <laughs> and they're just gonna chill out here. Which is probably for the best. <laughs> and nobody's in there. So path to the uh, hospitals blocked off by these barrels and stuff, so I guess that does it for an investigation of the dorm. So, we can uh, continue observing the hospital proper now. I think the enemies out here respond, but I just want to be sure. Rudeness. <laughs> Actually, I wonder what uh, Yin here is using as her uh, court setup. EP, strike, hit, confuse, EP, cut, action, move. I mean, sure, but like... Um, you might as well utilize your strengths and get a uh, freaking strike here, rather than what you got on now. There we go. That should be acceptable. Yeah, I think the dogs respawn, and I don't think I need to... Don't think I need to beat them up. Door's locked. Alright, we use that key. <laughs> we can press on through. No signs of life, huh? No signs of the Mafia, either. No, I'm sensing them moving about within the building. The 
hospital staff are likely sheltering them in various places throughout the building. Or likely sheltering themselves in various places throughout the building. I sense the presence of many people still inside the building. The presence of the Mafia, too. Let's see, so this is the main event, huh? Alright, let's proceed carefully. Carefully and cautiously. Let's check the offices first. Oh, it's an ambush? I gotta stop being mean to boy like that. Nobody in this research room. Can't access there. The orbital power is completely shut down. Okay, so it looks like all of the uh, main doctors are in here. Mr. Lloyd! Miss Sarah, thank goodness you're safe. You're all police. Could it be that you've come to save us? Yeah, we're checking on everyone's safety as we deal with the intruders. It's dangerous, so please wait here a while longer. Uh, understood. I think the other patients and staff are on the floor above. Please, take care of them. Understood. Alright, so there's still a lot of people here. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, attacking a hospital full of, uh, everyday civilians is not. It's not kosher in most situations. <laughs> it's kind of about the worst possible thing you can do. Attacking a soft target like this is, uh, pretty much a war crime, so... That was sudden. Let's clean up. Come at me. Cool. <laughs> I don't even have Risha Spect as a dodge tank. Sorry, I mean, I don't have Yid Spect as a dodge tank. Yeah, she's just kind of doing her own thing. <laughs> Gotta get that experience. And I got an achievement. Unrelenting Warrior. 
probably for getting into a certain number of fights. Looks like there's some people in room 201 here. You guys are... Mr. Randy and the younger brother! Yeah, dear Rand, you're safe, huh? Thank goodness. Are all the patients here? All the patients who are in this room are here, but... Say, are those Mafia still running about? Yes, unfortunately. Right now, we're confirming everyone's safety while suppressing the intruders. Because it might be dangerous, please wait here. Uh, understood. Ada, Philia, and Cecile are probably still here too. Please, save them. Yes, of course. It's in times like this, the more skills than this... What? It's in times like this, the more than skills, it's force of will that, need, that is needed. In order to reassure the patients, I need to keep a smile on my face. We'll stay here in order not to affect the patients badly. Younger brother, everyone, please save everyone in the hospital. What's with all this noise? This isn't normal. Yeah, I don't want the patients freaking out. That's for sure. Nobody's hiding in the nurse's office here. That's uh, good at least. And another ambush. I love how Tio just nukes things. Okay. Elevator still shut down, so we can't go in there. Well, there are people in room 202, at least. Oh, it's you guys! Lloyd and Mr. Randy! Miss Ada, you're safe! Good grief, it seems you have patience with you too! If you guys are here, does it mean the Mafia are gone? No, not yet. Right now we're confirming everyone's safety while suppressing the Mafia. If that's the case, it'd be better for us to stay here without moving, right? Yes, that's right. Please leave things to us until we've confirmed everyone's safety. Understood. Thanks. I think there's a patient left in the private room on the third floor. Mrs. Cecile and Felia should be there too, so please, take good care of them. Alright. Is the hospital fine? I'm really glad this didn't happen when my mother-in-law came to visit, but... Could it be that the situation is really dire? Till the situation gets better, I'll devote my entire attention to the patients. You two, be careful. Thank goodness Dr. Beldine is here. No matter what, only us nurses couldn't have calmed down the patients. Truth is, I want to go check the situation in the other sick rooms, but I could run the risk of being hurt. Hey, hey, wait, we're still convalescent, and we can't walk easily, and yet... What should I do? In this state, I can't run away. That's a little bit of nightmare feel. Okay, nobody in this room. Good job on everyone. 
game. Yin is just way too OP. I've got to say. Alright. Are they in room 302? It looks like it. <gasps> it's the younger brother and Mr. Randy! <laughs> ah, you're safe, Philia. You're the Crossbell Police. Is everything safe? No, we still got intruders inside the hospital. More importantly, that man is... Yeah, the janitor, Mr. Dyson. He was cut and seriously wounded. I've applied first aid, so I don't think his life is in immediate danger, but... I can't take my eyes off of him just yet. Is that so? Along those lines, where's the patient who's normally in this room? The Congressman Guevara was using this room, but... I wonder where he's gone at a time like this. Because he was admitted with a feigned illness, I don't think we need to worry about him. Uh, well, we'll confirm the safety of everyone here. By the way, Philia, do you happen to know where Cecile is? Cecile? Huh? I thought she was at the nurse's station, but... No, if I remember correctly, didn't Cecile go to room 301 that Mihail was in? Because Shizuku was out today and he was lonely, she said she was going to read a picture book to him, but... Room 301? That's the private room we entered on the way here, correct? Yeah, there's no one there, but... Really? Then just where? We'll keep searching for Cecile and Mihail. You two focus on treating the wounded. Okay. Be careful out there. Uh-oh, Cecile's in trouble. Ooh, I got a dingy. Who gave me a ding? Dubs, thanks for following. Thank you very much, Wild Ivan. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. <laughs> oh, we have to check room 301 again. <laughs> Way to go. That's that's lurking like a pro. I appreciate it. <laughs> As expected, nobody's here. They aren't hiding under the bed, right? If that was the case, I would have noticed. <laughs> it's still warm. It seems the room's occupant was here not too long ago. With that nurse, Cecile. <sighs> anyway, we've got to find them. Yeah. Well, let's check the other rooms as we go. That's all we can do. Oh, there's a person hiding here. Huh? Ah! Please, I beg you, spare me! What's this old man's problem? Congressman Gavar of the Imperial Faction. He's a character I've heard about from Miss Philia. Who are you guys? Aren't you the Mafia? We're the Crossbell Police, Special Support Section. Congressman Guevara, what are you doing here? What else? I'm hiding! Most likely, the Mafia have come to get rid of me! Chairman Hartman, I can't believe he'd do me in like this! Ellie, what do you think? I think he has a complete persecution complex. The Chairman probably doesn't think highly of him at all. I thought as much. That's right, you guys. Take me with you and let's get out of here. I don't want to die yet. Unfortunately, there's people whose safety we haven't confirmed yet. We need to make sure they're safe. For now, could you return to your room and wait for us? Because we've suppressed the Mafia in this area, I think you'll be able to move safely. Y y y who do you think I am? I'll have you know I'm one of the most important representatives of the Crossbell State Congress. What a loud man. 
Can I put him to sleep? What are you? That appearance. I feel like I've heard about you somewhere. <laughs> Where indeed? Surely, it wasn't a suspicious rumor connected to Heiwei, was it? <gasps> no way. That's enough with the teasing. Congressman, this is a state of emergency. Please cooperate and take refuge in your room. Uh, understood. Drive those mafia away ASAP. <laughs> Good grief, for a patient he runs faster than I thought. Well, he was hospitalized due to a fake illness. We've wasted too much time. Let's search for Cecile and the others. Right. <laughs> You're a true pro. A real champion. A lurker we can all aspire to be. Logic, I don't think people should aspire to be lurkers. Shut up, voice in my head. Ah. Alright. That's... Whoa, this is pretty bad. What the hell are those monsters? <gasps> Cecile! It's alright. It's alright. Come on. Hold tight to me. We'll escape the hospital just like this. Okay. It'll be difficult to escape. If this goes well, at least this kid will. Father. Mother. Ilya. Lloyd. Guy. I'm sorry. Cecile! Lloyd? It's the police! We'll talk later. We've got to repel them. Take care not to get them involved. Don't let your NPCs get hit. Or bad times will be coming for you. Actually, are NPCs even here? No, I don't think they are. Never mind. We're fine. We got this. I was gonna say, you know, like, hey, be cautious, make sure your NPCs don't get hit. And then I was just like, hey, you know what? No. No, don't worry about it. Don't even, don't even think about it. I really love the Moondog Dance S Craft. It's just so artsy. I love it. Apparently, they're weak to earth spells. I think Lloyd's just gonna beat this up, though. <laughs> Aw, yeah. Got some EP charges and some antidotes. Lloyd, and everyone else, too. Thank you. I don't know how to thank you. Oh, no, no, there's no need for thanks. More importantly, you're safe. Thank goodness we made it in time. Truly, thank goodness you're safe. If something happened to you, Cecile, I don't know how I could face my brother. Lloyd? <coughs> uh, are you alright? coughing fit. Mihail, let's get you back to your room and get you some medicine. <laughs> okay. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, Cecile. If I didn't say anything selfish, something like this happened. <coughs> <coughs> it's alright. It's alright. I probably shouldn't actually cough for that. <laughs> now it's causing me to want to just, like, cough. Oh god, I'm sorry. Cecile, I'll carry him. 
That's one 98 year old kid. <laughs> Let's get inside already. That kid's just been, you know, smoking a pack a day. That's why he's in the hospital. I see. That's the situation in the hospital. I can't believe Dr. Yo Kim would. Well, it's not the case he's the suspect, though. Is he still in the research building? I don't know, but he may have left the other professors behind in the research building. <coughs> As for those who the Mafia have taken out, it's nothing but our interns. Is that so? By the way, what on earth were those monsters just now? They look eerie and mysterious. That's right. It's as if something is out of balance. The Mafia must have brought them, right? I don't know, but they suddenly appeared in the research building. We were surrounded by them in an instant. It seems the research building is hiding something. Time is short. Let's head there quickly. Yeah. And, uh, it's time to take our friendly neighborhood assassin out of the party and put Randy back in. It's worth this SSS. And I can only hope I did everything right. Otherwise, I'm going to be missing out on a few DP. Oh, well. Pretty sure I talked to everyone. Checked all the rooms. We will see. What's with this mist? The air seems stagnant somehow. Uh, isn't this dangerous gas? No, it doesn't seem to affect the human body, but... It seems to affect the soul. It's likely some kind of noxious miasma. Seems an opponent more troublesome than expected is here. Who are you talking about? Again? Let's take care of them. Yes? Well, it seems they're not susceptible to instant death. That's a bit of a shame. Alright. That was no normal monster. It seems similar to the ones we fought in the tower and the temple. Although the three higher elements aren't active, I am in agreement. What if they... There's the possibility that they were dosed with Gnosis, the same as those in the Mafia. Is that what you wanted to say? Yes. So that's how it is. I agree that they were strong. Anyway, let's begin the search. According to Cecile, it's likely that the professors and the others are still in here. We'll find Dr. Yo Kim while we're at it. Okay. We'll need to hurry before it's too late. Let's get that EP charged. And, uh, let's go poking around. Find these weird ass monsters in here. Let's 
Oh, so it's just a basic damage thing. That's a pretty, pretty awful support craft, Ian. You can do better than that. They are susceptible to instant death. <laughs> Way to go, Randy. Um, let's just go with Airdyne. Yeah. Randy, no. Bad. <laughs> Not supposed to get hit like that. Come on, dude, get your act together. There's a treasure. There's also a monster in my way of the treasure. Uh, celestial bomb. Okay. Nothing too, too bad. Even if you push the elevator buttons, nothing happens. Maybe it's broken. No, it seems to be locked for some reason. We need an authentication card in order to move it. Alright, so we can't do anything with that just yet. So, this is the only path left to us. Get over here. Well, there's level ups for Tio and Lloyd, and Ellie and Randy aren't too far behind. Again, nothing impressive with the treasures, though. <gasps> Here they come! Here, eat this! Go to hell, you monsters! What? Whoa! Oh, look out! Idiots, why do you throw it? Honestly, this is why surgeons are incompetent. You too, you threw it with all your might. This is why physicians are useless. They're all talk. Excuse me, doctors. They don't seem like any kind of monster, though. Oh, you guys are. If I remember correctly, you're from the police. We're the special support section. It seems like you're all safe. <sighs> Good grief, the last thing I was expecting was someone throwing chemicals at us. Is this acid or something? Uh, sorry, it's an experimental oxidizer. Though it has a somewhat strong effect, it is non-toxic, so please rest easy. Oh, good grief, you two. You mustn't be so rash. The one who said, here they come. Wasn't it you, Ashram? And I think you were the one who found the oxidizer bottles. Hmm, is that how it went? Anyway, there's still monsters wandering around inside. We'll escort you, so let's depart immediately. So, you didn't see Dr. Yoakim at all? When those mafia went to the research building, I hadn't seen him. I think he might have gone fishing in the night, but... Is that so? I'm sorry to say, but at this point I highly doubt it. 
That's right. By the way, where did those monsters come from? Did the Mafia come here with those war dogs too? No, I feel like they just appeared out of nowhere, but... I didn't see them enter the building either. About those monsters, it seems they had a strange person with them. Because he wasn't in black clothes, he didn't look like Mafia, though. Then that means... Was it a large bear-like man? Or a balding fat man? No, no, he looked like a normal person. He used the elevator to go to the fourth floor. The fourth floor. That's the floor with the professor's research labs, isn't it? I wonder who it might have been. Hey, Gravity, how's it going? <laughs> Don't worry, you actually haven't missed too, too much. I've only been streaming for... Two hours at this point? Wow, it's already been two hours. Okay, sure. <laughs> hmm, if you're going to investigate, you'd best be careful. For now, we'll take shelter in the hospital ward. If you run into some trouble, don't hesitate to stop by. A mysterious man who commands monsters, huh? Do you guys have any idea who it might be? No, we've got no ideas at present. But it seems like somebody other than Dr. Yo Kim. Don't know who it is, but we still need to catch them, yeah? Let's make our way to the fourth floor. Alright. Alright. So, I need a key to get up to the fourth floor. Perhaps uh, it's in the room with the hostages, where... Maybe I shouldn't have Randy use Death Storm. It gets him too far away from Ellie. Same time. Oh my god, Randy, please. God, I love avoiding fights like that. <laughs> it looks like we're gonna have to make our detours around here. that up. Research building access card obtained. This is the authentication well the authentic authentication card of this research building. It should be able to release the elevator lock. Hmm. So we can finally reach the core area, huh? I 
I see that treasure chest there. It's taunting me. It wants me to pick it up. Yep, inside is the Scorpio gem. If I remember correctly, it's attack 4. Crit plus 20, 20% chance to inflict poison. Ah. I'm actually going to be tossing that on Lloyd. That seems like a thing he would uh, like to have. Because crits are good and fun, and everybody loves them, right? <laughs> anyway, I didn't get to ask. How are you doing, Gravity? Is everything going well? That's good to hear. <laughs> Just uh Oh nice man. That's a that's a blast from the past. I had so much fun playing Chrono Trigger when I was a kid. <laughs> Meanwhile, I've basically been streaming since like E3, technically. I mean, it was Feb doing most of the streaming, but uh I was there to co-commentate. That was a lot of fun. I never actually got to do that before. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I feel like I should get that reference, but uh, it's a little late, so... Not quite 100% there. Yes! I do see the number 69, though, so... Clearly, that's what it's all about. <laughs> ah, that makes sense. <laughs> right, if I remember correctly, R69 was the pink one, I think. Again, it's been a while since I played Chrono Trigger. I gotta go... All the way back to the elevator. Ah, never mind. So we're coming up to a boss fight here, so let's make sure we're well prepared. Um, this is my before searching every room save. Hopefully I got everybody. Let's uh, march right in. Right on in. Alright, I'll use that card from earlier.
私の番で私の番ね Easy peasy. So that's the EP Cup 3 quartz. Uh, Nelly doesn't have it on? Okay, sure. I'll uh, prove that real quick. Better than this, I apparently have a bunch of them. I definitely need this of Randy because he's not hitting more shit right now. And uh, you know what? Lloyd can use it too. Why not? It's just better than the EP3 and it gives access to. Decent time and stuff, so why not? Why the heck not? That do let's make this confuse instead. And let's make this of eight three. And since I have another of eight three apparently, throw that on Randy. Live that dream. Alright. There was better, like, water things to put on people. Oh well. It'll have to do. I'm not sure which one the boss room is, but I guess, uh... Not these two. Keep doing that. Of course, we all know you should uh, name one of your party members Gato. I lost, you won. Here's 15 silver points now, wasn't that fun? Yes, I can see the future. Ho 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 ho. Nah, I just know you so well. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, I was kidding, but. <laughs> what is the star pendulum do? <laughs> ah. Locks faint, sleep, and confuse. You know what? I'm just gonna put that on Randy. It doesn't give the stat buff the other thing did, but prevention of those status effects are quite nice. <laughs> yep. Oh, I could totally buy that. Like, I don't trust this weird mute kid. I'm just gonna give him a fake name. <laughs> uh, what's a good fake name? Looks over at Gato. Yep, go with Gato. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> you sure arrived quickly. Oh, hi, Ernest. 
your but Mr. Ernest <laughs> yep definitely a normal looking person with bright red eyes <laughs> hey Ellie it's been two months now hasn't it the night is still young but the moon is beautiful tonight Mr. Ernest, that eye color of yours has... <laughs> Looks like he's given into demonization. Oh, so the legendary Master Yin has decided to come along too. My position would have been extremely secure if only you kept your mouth shut. Looks like the chance for me to properly express my gratitude has finally arrived. The shadows are my existence. Know that I won't allow you to assume my name, even if you've fallen into de demonization. <laughs> you're one to talk. Looks like you're the one responsible for manipulating the monsters. Aside from that, why are you here? Aren't you supposed to be in prison? <laughs> prison, huh? That building, like this hospital, has already fallen into our hands. What? The guards at the prison should be members of the Guardian Force at Belgard Gate. Are you saying that the Mafia attacked there? <laughs> Not exactly. By the way, don't you dare mix those Ravash scumbags with us. They're nothing more than mere puppets. Puppets controlled by us to accomplish our plan. Just as I thought. You used some kind of trick to manipulate people who consumed the Gnosis, correct? <laughs> exactly. Everything is going to plan, according to our great comrade. <laughs> They're just pawns, expendable for the execution of the grand ceremony. The great comrade? The remnant from the deed, therefore, G cult? The mastermind hiding behind the Mafia? In other words, the master of this room, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, he's got a katana. What? This demonic aura! The presence of the three higher level elements. If you want the answer... Just defeat me here. Defeat me, who has obtained Gnosis under the guidance of our great comrade. <sighs> He's coming. Alright. It's time to fight Ernest for real this time. Let's show him what we got. Oh, his buddy's got a lot of health, too. Rude. As <laughs> they say in the business, stop, that's illegal. Still kicking. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can't 
can't delay them. That's a shame. Alright. Yes. So, it looks like Ernest is gonna get a party rush turn. Nope. Burning Heart. We're getting a party rush turn instead. Uh, excuse you. You're not getting any healing out I really like Rising Sun. Hitting dudes with a freaking dragon is always awesome. Monkey's taken care of. Now we just yes. gotta deal with the prick himself. Apparently he's resistant to wind. <laughs> uh, that could have been worse, that's for sure. Suicide Randy Strats, let's go. God, holy bullet is just OP. He might play Magic the Gathering or Dungeons and Dragons or something. Can't trust people to play those kind of games, right? <laughs> A Jay Walker. Randy lands the finishing blow. I was gonna be the next mayor. Eh, so much for that. <laughs> All I get is a couple of U materials for beating his ass. That's a bit of a shame. <laughs> what an annoying bunch. This is beyond my expectations, to be honest. Mr. Ernest, why are you doing this? Betraying grandfather and becoming a dog of an evil cult. Why have you fallen so far? Fallen? No, I merely came to realize the truth. That's right. I've come to understand. What meaning this land called Crossbell actually holds. I'm able to understand how everything really is. What? Nonsense. This guy's lost his damn mind. You can stop your senseless jokes now. Former Mayor Secretary Ernest Rias. On the basis of state law, we hereby arrest you on the charges of assault, rioting, 
illegal detention, drug use, jailbreak, jaywalking, arson, pedophilia, among others. Come with us quietly. There's no need to rush. The night has just begun. The show our comrade organized is just beginning. The invitation is just over there, so be sure to take a good look at it. What the? Guys, did you really fall for the oldest trick in the book? Come on, he's gonna jump out the window! That's... <laughs> we shall meet again. After you've crossed the land of death ahead of you, that is. God frickin'. <laughs> Trails protagonists, sometimes, I swear. <sighs> you won't escape. Yeah, it doesn't matter that it's like 10 floors up. He's fine. Because <laughs> he's got a dragon buddy to hitch a ride on. <laughs> what? That thing just now. The ancient winged dragon we saw at the Stargazer's Tower. Oh, hell. That's so messed up, man. I guess it's impossible to pursue. Time is of the essence. Let's hurry up and look at it. To the invitation prepared by his comrade. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Damn straight he should have. They never seen it coming. Anyway, um, before I check it out, enjoy the creepy ass music again. Okay, I'm gonna look at it. Files and black and white covers are placed on the desk. This emblem is... Could this be the DG cults? And it's similar to the one in the temple. A place where demons spawned, huh? Hmm, such a place exists. It's a place similar to the tower you waited for us in. That aside... I like that you can cancel looking through the files. Like you have a choice in the matter. That's... terrible. <laughs> There's not a shred of decency left in the world. Hard to believe this Chairman Hartman was also bribed. Seems like someone got a hold of his weak point and forced him to cooperate. What is this paradise? Ugh. Yeah, yeah, I'm just not going to say a damn word about that. I'm not sure. Probably one of the cult lodges. Regardless, he took advantage of Chairman Hartman's weak point, and he also lent Ravach a hand to hide him in Crossbell. Unforgivable. As a representative of Crossbell, what an atrocious act to commit. Because of people like him, Grandfather had to work long and hard all these years, and father abandoned Crossbell altogether. Ellie. It's too early to get all emotional. The black folder there indicates that the location for manufacturing Gnosis is not in this hospital, but somewhere else entirely. In addition, the shipment list suggests that, aside from the Mafia, the drug has already found its way to many other people. Yeah, it appears that he has a base other than the one here. Could that be where the missing people are? It's likely. But where could that base be located? And it kind of bugs me that aside from the Mafia, who else those drugs might have gone to? Hey, it couldn't be Heiwei, could it? <laughs> Zhao is not naive enough to reach his hands out for that kind of stuff. In terms of possible candidates, an ambitious pharmaceutical company somewhere. Terrorists, Jaegers, or maybe even country's intelligence agencies. <laughs> You're right. The peculiarity of Crossbell is completely reproachful. Uh, without reproach? Yeah. Let's check out the white file, too. <sighs> this is... 
the victims of the ritual six years ago. Those bastards. They did something like this? I'm sorry, Tio. I'm taking a look inside. Please don't apologize. Please, continue with your verification. Yeah. <sighs> if you compare that to how I look now, it's a little better, right? Tio, that goes without saying. <laughs> I think you've become adorable beyond recognition. Even if it's just idle flattery, I'm happy. Lloyd, please confirm. Understood. Oh. This is... It's Miss Wren. Right. So she's connected too. So that a girl is an acquaintance of yours too, huh? At the same time, I had heard rumors of kidnapping even in the Eastern District. But how dare they make such a big mess of things. There's a photo in the file. Huh? It's Kia! No way. Bastard. I thought my hopes were too wild, but... It's that girl you all protected at that auction, huh? Only, this photo looks new. Was it taken recently? Yeah, that's probably likely. Damn! He knew everything from the beginning! It was when he we brought Kia here. He suggested, with an innocent look, to have her hospitalized for examinations. <laughs> that seems likely. What? This voice. Oh. It's Ren? Whoa, seriously? You. How long have you been there? I didn't sense your presence. It seems you're no ordinary girl. <laughs> I'm about the same as yourself, I suppose. Allow me to formally introduce myself. Ouroboros' enforcer number 15, the Angel of Slaughter, Ren. <laughs> Pleased to make your acquaintance, everyone. So it's just as Estelle and Joshua said, huh? Ouroboros. I see. The same as the dire wolf, huh? Oh my, you know of Walter? <laughs> I faced him once before. In the end, he slipped by me without resolving our fight. He must think the same about you. Ren should have invited him to come together when she went back to the society. Or perhaps it would have been better to invite Blue Blong. <laughs> Even that Phantom Thief's name comes out. Ouroboros. Quite the interesting bunch. <laughs> I think it's strange that someone like you hasn't been recruited yet. <laughs> Might there be a reason for that? Nonsense. Ren, are you a member of the society? You're taking part in what the chief of this laboratory is trying to cause? <laughs> no, I don't. Ren has personal reasons for staying in this land. Joachim Gunter, associate professor of St. Ursula's Medical College and the executive priest of the DG cult. He put together the results of all the rituals and develop the Gnosis in secret. With this, Ren finally has all the information she needs to know. So you're... That white file, was it? <laughs> I had a guess, but there was no definitive proof. His wounds are healed, and you even helped me. With this, finally, I only have one reason to stay in this place. What? The next time you see Estelle and Joshua, please tell them this. Ren will give you one last chance to be captured. 
I think their efforts will be in vain, though. You. What are you planning? The wren of this land is a kitty, an existence that whimsically observes. Wren neither plans to help you, nor interferes in your issues. But you know, I will give you one warning. That child is likely the key to everything. Take care not to let her be taken away from you. <laughs> I don't need to say anything more. The key to everything? Might you be talking about Kia? <laughs> it's about time for Ren to be going. Then everyone, goodbye. Good knob end is good night. <laughs> uh, what? Whoa! This is the second time somebody's jumped out of oh, that window. But, uh, she also has a flying robot. I like that she gives a nice little curtsy as she flies off. Oh, jeez. Were we? Were we dreaming? Or a Boros? To think they have that level of technology? Seems we need to assess the situation once again. Damn, that secretary bastard was enough. This is just insane! Yeah. But somehow, it seems Ren has no connection to this incident. We found the real identity of the Mastermind. And although vaguely, we can see his plans. Being the case, we need to hurry back to Crossbell City. Oh. What great timing. Yes, this is Lloyd Banning's of the Special Support Section. Thank goodness you're safe. It's me, CGF Vice Commander Sonya. Vice Commander? Where are you right now? I'm just about to arrive at the hospital. I trust there's no problem with my unit storming the place? Is that so? We dealt with the Mafia for now. Please speak to the people in the hospital and take them under your protection. Understood. We'll rendezvous later. Storm in the base, storm in the base. Good grief. I was just about to relax. Yes, but we can't let our guard down. Indeed. It seems there's still something else to that secretary's announcement. Yeah, let's speak with the vice commander and return to the Crossbell City fast. <laughs> Looks like this is as far as we go. Yin, you're leaving? <laughs> I have no obligation to stay with you any longer. I have enough to report to Zhao, and there's something I must protect. The same as all of you. What? Just what could that be? You won't see it tonight. However, the night is young. You should exercise extreme caution. Okay, thanks. Well, thanks, for now. Thank you. Settled. Farewell. After that, they rendezvoused with Sonia and Noel and quickly explained the situation. They decided to return to Crossbell City using their Guardian Force vehicle. Is that so? You're hurrying back to the city then. Sorry, Cecile. If I could, I would have stayed to help with repairing the hospital. Don't worry about it. The CGF will handle things here. You must do what only you can. Kia's in danger, right? Yeah. To be perfectly honest, we still don't have a clear understanding of Dr. Yoakim's goal. In this chaotic situation, I don't even know how we should act. 
but Kia, we've at least got to protect her. I agree. Absolutely. We must protect her. Yeah, we gotta take her back from that dangerous guy, no matter what. <laughs> I think I understand how much you want to protect that which is precious to you. As long as you don't lose sight of that, I'm sure the answer will appear before you. It's alright. If it's you guys, I'm sure you can do it. Cecile, thanks. It's very reassuring to hear you say that. She almost said everything I was going to. With the attack on the prison, the CGF is disorganized, but... If we coordinate with the Belgard Gate troops, we should be able to get a handle on the situation. It seems that it's going to be a long night. Let's each do our best to get through it. Right. Well, the least we can do is go all out. Alright then, Noel. Please escort Lloyd and the others to Crossbell ASAP. Go as fast as you can, but don't get into an accident, alright? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Gone beret, Fen. Gone beret. <laughs> now then, let's return to repairing the hospital. Miss Cecile, can you take me to the research building? Yes, understood. Everyone, please be careful. And Guy, please watch over Lloyd. Alright, I didn't screw up. I got all six bonus DP. Can move up to 362 now. And, uh... This is a pretty good stopping point, I think. So, I'd like to thank everyone for coming today. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Trails to Zero. And I hope you'll join me for, uh, next episode. As we, uh, hurry back to Crossbell City and find out just what the hell Joachim has planned for us. It certainly doesn't sound good. I hope we didn't kidnap our daughter. That'd be, that'd be very dangerous for Mr. Joachim. In any case, you can catch me on Twitch. I stream late at nights. I also put my stuff on YouTube under Razor7343, so you can check me out there as well. And if you're interested in fan fictions, lemons, and the like, I have a Patreon account where I put my stuff up two months early and an archive of our own account if you want to get access to our free stuff. I just recently finished releasing part 8 of my Hearts of Class 7 series involving Reen and Yuna, so if you're hankering for the best ship in Trails of Cold Steel, I've got you covered, man. I've got you covered. And so, until then, have a good night, get good rest, wash your hands, hit that bell icon, unhit that bell icon, hit it again for good measure, you know. In case, we'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.